Hey guys, this is uh, Quindle from Intermittent Technology again. Uh, last night I showed you that when my complete computer went to sleep mode, it came back clocked faster and benchmarks also seemed to complete faster. So, after a lot of comments and people on Twitter and everyone helping out, um, this bug exists, there's something wrong, but we don't get any extra speed. So, I'm making this video to show everyone, and uh, let's get right to it. So, I'm running at 4 GHz right now, so let's do a normal uh, Cinebench R15 test. About the fans, this is a benchmark system, so I'm, I have it set for the best cooling possible. In a normal workload, I would ramp them down a bit. Okay, so we're getting 1731, and well, that's about a normal score for a 4 gigahertz um, Ryzen 7. So, <coughs> as you can see, I have a stopwatch here and on my phone. And let's run those at the same time. Well, almost at the same time. Let's leave that running for a little bit. And as you can see, they both count basically at the same time. There's no dis discrepancies between those two uh, after 30 seconds. Okay, let's uh, turn that off again. And the last thing I want to do, where did I put it? Hmm. Don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. I have a video. This is during though, that. Uh, and. Build As you can hear from the sound, the video is playing just fine. I'm used to using fractal design cases for the last few years. But, as I said, it's uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's working fine. So now let's go to sleep mode sleep mode. Let's put it to sleep. Okay, turn it back on. <coughs> there we go. And um, let's do the same test again. Almost done. Okay, 1855. Awesome score, isn't it? Sadly, it's not really true. Because if we now look at the stopwatch and start those at the same time, see what happens. Well, you can already see what's happening. So the PC is now at 12 but the phone is already at 15. So the bug is that a certain timer either in Windows or on the motherboard or in the CPU gets slowed down by a certain percentage and that's why the benchmarks seem to run faster. But in reality it's taking longer than it did before but Windows feels or thinks it faster and that's why the number is higher. It's a great way to cheat at benchmarks, if you ask me. Okay, the phone is almost at 60 seconds. 
Yeah, okay, 60 and the computer is at 50. So there's about a 10% difference. So that basically proves that what we're seeing isn't correct. It isn't really faster. Now, let me play, play back that video again. And as you hear, because this is video and audio at the same time, we're having some audio sync issues. Lots of choices for you to design your own airflow. Radiator support is limited to the front though. Yeah, that's unbearable. Okay. And then the last test I wanted to show you guys, which is really funny, is if I copy this to a network drive, let's uh, put it back on the different other screen. There we go. I'm copying. Oh, hold on. With 124, 25 megabytes a second over a gigabit link. Awesome. I've somehow accelerated network technology by, I don't know, 15%, 10%. Of course, that's also bogus. So I think this definitely, definitively proves that we're seeing a bug, that is certain, this should not happen because basically after sleep your system is unreliable I sleep my laptop I think f f 10 times a day, I sleep my other systems 5 to 10 times a day or I, I, I use sleep in standby mode and hibernation very often this should not happen it's awesome in one perspective but it does really need to get fixed, it doesn't give us extra speed so, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. My benchmarking video of the 4770K versus the 1700X from AMD and my memory and memory and overclocking test video is almost done. And uh, maybe you guys will uh, stick around, maybe subscribe and uh, watch that video too. Because it gives some good insight in how the 1700X or the Ryzen 7 is performing and what we should expect from it from the future. So, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.